Uh, my colleagues and I are definitely struggling in early childhood these days uh, to fill our child care centers and other early childhood programs with professionals in these roles. Due to the lack of professionals, we are also having an availability issue for our parents to be able to place their children in high quality educational centers. Our Meeting Street Early Childhood team of over 120 early childhood educators, therapists, and allied professionals serve over 5,000 children and families across Rhode Island each year, which is why the child care bills being championed by Senator Whitehouse are so very dear to Meeting Street. Child care is not simply an educational issue, it is an economic development issue. And I could stand before you all morning outlining the ways in which our staff and families who turn to us for support are impacted by the lack of federal investment in child care. There are workforce issues from Electric Boat, which we just met with this morning, to Rhode Island Hospital, to people who run small businesses. And if you want to unleash workforce, you've got to provide reliable, safe, affordable child care. <laughs> Period. End of story. And in a kind of unfortunate feedback loop, we don't have the workforce that we need because we don't have the child care support that we need because we don't have the child care workforce that we need. We have to make sure every child care uh, facility that I have been to has told me the same thing. It's very hard to find people and we can't pay them enough. We need to raise the rate so that it's affordable to hire uh, people who can come in and do a solid professional job and unless the federal government is reimbursing at adequate levels that simply won't happen. Um, in Rhode Island we've set three major goals. Uh, one is to uh, raise uh, uh, families incomes. Uh, the other one is to raise academic outcomes in our schools and the third is to make sure we're healthy enough uh, to enjoy uh, uh, you know the uh, the life that we have here in Rhode Island. So and making sure that every community that is in the state or down all 39 cities and towns uh, uh, take advantage of that effort. Uh, if we want to achieve our goals in early childhood and ensure that all families have access to high quality, affordable early education, we need federal support. Uh, this is a national issue and one that needs a national attention, a national solution, and leadership in Rhode Island that takes full advantage of that.